All right, I'm all finished building these guys. Um, I saw them at my work and I just had to get them. Uh, I just noticed that like it was coming out with a lot, a lot of Marvel things. I'm seeing all the Avengers stuff, but this is the first time I've seen this set. Um, comes with a little Magneto minifigure with, of course, the removable helmet. Um, he has a serious looking face. And then he also has a grinning face. Which is really, really cool because you can, you know, switch them out or turn them around for a different type of uh, displaying. He also has pain apps on his back, which is very rare when it comes to uh, minifigures. They usually only have the front decals or whatever, or pain apps. And he also has it on his helmet. I wish the crest was um, painted, but that's no big deal. So there's Magneto, he looks really cool. And then we got Wolverine, and I like what they did here. I like that Marvel, or that uh, Lego continues to keep their, um, their classic uh, look, you know? Like, they don't change things like Mega Bloks does. I can't stand Mega Bloks, because they just never stay true to their, their roots, basically. But which is cool, or what is cool about him is that his claws are actually in his hand like a like a weapon which some people might have a problem with but I don't because it still allows him to have hands and you can take them off whenever you want so I don't think it looks bad at all I think it's a great idea actually um, this hair is also a piece from a lot of other figures like uh, the Dracula I think I think the Dracula I know one of them's um like the wolf or something like that I believe um, he also has two different faces. He's got his serious face here. And he also has a grinning face there. Awesome paint apps. This is the uh, um, Astonishing outfit. So he has that, but it's sleeveless. I don't, I'm not, I can't remember. No, the Astonishing outfit usually has the... Um, shoulder pads but that's okay and his mask is like on the back folded up if you can see it I think I think it's just awesome awesome figure awesome mini figure and also he has this really cool motorcycle I, this, I believe what they were trying to do here with this scene was recreate from uh, Wolverine Origins where He's on the bike and he's being chased by the helicopter with, uh, and I forget his name, Agent One or something like that, and um, Striker in the uh, in the chopper with him or something like that. I don't know. But one of the main reasons I wanted this is because it it comes with an actual Deadpool minifigure. I couldn't believe when I saw this like that they would actually create a. Lego Deadpool because in the comic base um, of of characters he's very popular but to you know a normal kid a normal kid doesn't really know who uh, who um, Deadpool is you know everyone knows who Wolverine is and Magneto and like Spider-Man and all those other characters but it's really cool to see an actual Deadpool minifigure he has great paint apps or decals or whatever you want to call them. He also comes with his um, sheath thing here, dual sheath that holds his swords, which also attach to the helicopter, which is really cool. So you could put them in like that, and they they can crisscross each other, which is really really cool. And he also has a little gun that looks like it would also be universal with like a Phantom X or something like that. Really cool gun there. It's I've this is the first time I've ever seen this gun, but I'm not like a huge um, Lego collector anymore. I used to be, so this could be like a a gun from like Star Wars or something like that for all I know. But really, really cool. He only comes with one head. It'd be cool to see him with his mangled face, but I don't think they would do that because it's Lego. You know, kind of scary for kids, I guess. Um, the chopper is really cool. 
Um, pretty easy to build. It has like the rotating blades here and then in the back. And the roof thing here makes it easy to go on and off because of the way it's built. And it also has like these firing missiles thing. I didn't do it right, but you guys I'm pretty sure you got the idea. It rolls too, which is pretty cool. Um, overall, this set is just really cool. If you're if you're not even a a Lego fan, I suggest you pick it up just because it's it's cool to have. I guess, like I said, I used to be really big into Legos, and I had to stop because I was just spending way too much on Legos, way too much money, way too much time. So I I I just love the minifigures. It's really cool. I'm not a huge fan of uh, mini mates. I only have this Akuma here, but they they remind me a lot of um, Legos. So that's why I kind of passed up on them because I'd rather have the Lego stuff better. So watch out, mini mates. Really cool. Check them out. All right. So over the weekend. Um, not only did I go and sell some of my old uh, action figures and stuff at a flea market, but with the money that I made, um, I went down the shore with uh, my girlfriend and a couple friends, and um, I actually got these in one of the stores that are down there, and I found these three guys for pretty reasonable. Um, originally, they had Warpath and Rogue as uh, 20... Twenty four ninety five. It says on Rogue. Um, I got them both for forty, as a haul, like as like together. So I thought that was pretty good because she goes for like thirty plus on eBay, and he, I've been looking for, for him for a while now, and I've seen that he goes for a ridiculous amount of money on eBay. I think it's something like fifty to sixty dollars. So um, I figured that's a good thing, um, a good haul to find. You know, good price. I don't know what I was saying there. I meant to say a good price the whole time, but um, he was probably only displayed because his blades are still attached to him with the rubber bands and everything. So, uh, and no paint wear or anything. So he's really good condition. And same with her. The only thing I think is like a little bit of a problem is her waist is loose. But uh, other than that, everything else is pretty good. I really wish they wouldn't have done these stupid hip joints with her like they did with the Electra. It would have been so much nicer. I think she's got some glue or something on her face. I didn't notice that until now. But uh and now for the pink birdie here. I got him for only fourteen ninety five and that's a great, great deal. The store that I went into was very, very expensive, but I found diamonds in the rough, I guess you can say. Some good figures for a decent price. Other things were just insane insanely expensive but uh like i said the birdie and his pink outfit which i don't know what ebay prices are for him but i know he's pretty expensive compared to his original um uh, color scheme so happy to find him for only fi uh, 15 bucks 14.95 so um yeah that's it for the shore and um when i guess i'll just add this right in when i went out to Walmart, I found um, Transformers Prime Knockout. So I'm getting close to completing my uh, Transformers Prime collection. And that's about it. Got another customs update here with this Iron Patriot. I finished the blue. A blue wasn't as nice as the red, I don't think. It just doesn't seem to blend very well. If you could see that spot right there. that's This is like three or four coats of blue, and I just know it's not going to get any different or better. Um, I decided that when I painted this that I was just going to leave the silver up there and leave the blue here. And a lot of spots on him... Uh, the paint just don't does not want to stay and it's, it's very frustrating so I don't know what I'm gonna do yet like I had to turn his 
torso completely sideways, sideways and you can see that it's a little jacked up right there because I just there's nothing I can do it's just the paint just keeps coming off over and over again over here too I just I just hope that uh, when I seal it up it's gonna stay and there's some some spots I, I still need to touch up this right here is probably about 40 or not 40 uh like 91 percent done still need to do some touch-ups around the ball joints and and other uh arm joints and i gotta paint the feet still i, I didn't want to make them red i want to give them a different kind of bottom and then paint the booster things here and then on his hands also i need to touch up some more red but he's almost done. I, I still need to put the black outlines in there and then um, seal them up and then make sure the head fits back on because sometimes when you paint um, the inside of a joint, it makes it harder to get the head back on because it adds to the to the plastic that's already in there, if that makes any sense to anyone that understands what I'm talking about. But overall, I think the helmet came out really good. Still need to put some black in here even though it looks like there is I gotta put some black all the way around and then I gotta paint the um, the eyes and then seal it up and that's pretty much done shoulder pads are completely done just need to be sealed they both came out really good nice and shiny fit right really nice over top of the shoulders there and I'm glad they have these because it's gonna help make the uh, arm look a lot better because of the the ball joints there but almost there uh, and then I don't think I did anything to the century no I haven't just because I've been working on this guy but alright that's it